Hey guys, this is Jay Caldover, Jay Unboxing, here giving you a personal prediction for Tim Zhu versus Brian Mendoza. And as always, this is just my take. Of course, your predictions can be left down in the comments section below. This is a title fight at junior middleweight, so certainly an interesting one between two kind of charging fighters at 154 pounds. Would love to hear them all down in the comments section below. And a little bit of fight info here. We have Tim Zhu taking on Brian Mendoza. This will be at the Gold Coast Convention and Exhibition Center in Queensland, Australia, airing live on Showtime in the junior middleweight division with the WBO junior middleweight title currently possessed by Tim Zhu on the line. So I really like this one. It's a solid fight with two higher rated fighters and something of value on the line. The title that Zhu now has because Charlo, Jermel Charlo that is, vacated by facing Canelo Alvarez at super middleweight. That's a whole different story. Now while in general we might prefer Tim Zhu face some of the bigger names at 154 pounds, as far as any of the other fights that might happen if those ones aren't taking place, this is a pretty decent one in my personal opinion. While Zhu has been rolling as of late and picking up bigger wins each time out, including these stoppage over Tony Harrison most recently, Mendoza has been similarly rolling, again most recently upsetting and stopping the previously unbeaten Sebastian Fundora. So who continues to roll and pick up another big win, maybe the biggest win of their careers thus far? That is the question. Let's break this one down and find out. Starting with the new champion here, for Zhu to win, I think you want to dig in the uppercut. It's a shot Mendoza can be hit with, so naturally it's a shot that you're going to want to look to try and land. He comes in with that kind of peekaboo defense, that high guard at times, and if you can get that shot up and underneath that guard, it's a shot that can land well, and it's a shot that you throw pretty well, so it's certainly something you want to get going in this contest. Especially if you can anticipate the shot, meaning you're really timing it as he's stepping in, that's certainly a blow that I think will have some solid impact for you. He's going to look to try and close the gap, especially if you're allowing him to kind of be suckered in to do so. Setting that trap and that uppercut is the perfect shot to make him pay for it. Mendoza has less reach, so he's going to want to step in a bit more to try and create some offense for himself and close that gap. So that double impact with that uppercut can definitely pay off if you catch him good with it. I would also say press your man backwards. Mendoza doesn't fight well going back. He's not a terrible fighter fundamentally, but he's a fighter that wants to come forward, wants to charge. Naturally, take that away from him. You can't be too forced or reckless and just try to come in and bulldoze him because Mendoza does have a solid punch to him. So it's a shot that you're going to have to try and avoid when you're just stepping in. That being said, you want to be on the front foot and pushing him back, getting him into the ropes and taking him out of his element, so to speak. I think this also lets you kind of set up and hold the range you're looking to hold because of that advantage in reach that you have. And this will also tire him out as he's trying to circle and back away again. Those backing up muscles tire a lot faster than when you're trying to just come forward. So you can definitely take it out of him, especially a fighter who's not looking to go backwards anyway. Once you start getting him out of that element and tiring him a bit, you can really ramp up your own offense and make it pay down the stretch. And finally, take Mendoza deep. As mentioned in that last key, I think taking him deep and kind of into those more rougher waters later on in the contest will be important. Really, Mendoza does seem to get a bit more ragged as the fight wears on. He becomes less powerful. He loads up so much in his shots that he takes a lot out of himself in those later frames. Take advantage of this. As far as I can tell, Mendoza only has one stoppage past the sixth round. I mean, he stops a lot of people early, of course, and that has something to do with it, but it certainly means that he isn't necessarily as powerful as he is early in a contest. A way in which you can even further capitalize on this is by attacking the body when he is up against the ropes and if you are able to push him back it will encourage all of that to happen even sooner and allow for you to really get going even earlier but at the very least you're going to stay fresh be a bit more patient and then let yourself capitalize on that later on in the contest now switching over to Mendoza, for Mendoza to win, you want to look to land the left. You have solid power in both hands, but the lead left hand for me, so either as a hook or as just kind of a power jab, lands quickly. It's very, very straight and to the point, so to speak, and I think it's one that can definitely pay off for you in this fight especially if Zoo is trying to come in and push you back. It can discourage that from happening and then allow for you to take the front foot and get inside. Because you do throw it so well, you time it so well, that if you're able to catch him on it and sort of counter him and just, again, time his rhythm, you will definitely benefit from that shot, that lead left hand. Of course, this is also going to set up that right hand, and you throw a pretty solid right hand as well, but the left is where I think it really starts. Either in the 
the form of a jab or that left hook or even just kind of throwing it as a cross or a countering shot as he's trying to jet in but either way i think that left hand is certainly going to pay off for you in this fight i would also say force the exchanges now you don't want to be wild you don't just have to sell out you don't it's not as though you only have a puncher's chance you're a decent fighter but you will need to create your own openings Zhu has been hit and dropped during moments where he gets a bit too offensive minded you're going to look to time that and jump on it. you're going to want to make sure that you're throwing when he's throwing again do it smart try to set your traps try to pick up what he's doing and then of course counter that but at the same time you're going to want to make sure your hands are getting busy it's really what's going to create the best opportunity for you it will also help you close a bit of that gap if you're able to step inside when you're doing it because you do have a reach disadvantage you have a pretty sturdy chin at times that will allow for you to be able to afford to take a bit more risks if you need to especially if you fall behind because again you are on his home turf you have to make sure that you're leaving a good impression on this fight and round by round to be able to pick up the points if you aren't able to get him out of there and finally be busy inside if Zhu tries to press and get you on the ropes, you have to wing in those shots to the body. You have the shorter arms. They're going to get there with a little bit more force, a little more torque anyway. So use that to your advantage. This will also sap some of his energy, some of his strength, his speed away from him, and maybe discourage him from trying to come inside anyway, which allows for you to kind of turn the tables. Also, this might in general force a bit more of a defensive mind out of zoo because he doesn't want to be getting tagged to the body who the hell does this can then force you to press forward come a bit more forward with your shots and of course that's what you're looking to do in this fight anyway you might be able to turn him as he gets weaker put him on the ropes and if that guard's dropping allow for you to land some of those more powerful shots over the top but you have to make sure not to neglect the body because when you are inside those busier shots especially to the body will pay off for you now, in terms of my pick here, Mendoza has a puncher's chance for sure, and a bit more, as mentioned. He's not an unskilled fighter, but I think Zhu takes this fight in a pretty exciting. I think both land well early on, with Zhu coming forward and Mendoza landing some big counters. However, Zhu will settle in and get more technical, more methodical with his approach, and get a bit more punishing. Zhu begins to break him down a bit more and tire Mendoza as he presses him back and lands those more thudding shots with Mendoza up against the ropes. If Zhu hurts Mendoza, it's with an uppercut, I believe, but I think we hear the final bell with a comfortable decision for the hometown fighter. Winner, Tim Zhu via unanimous decision. Now, in terms of the betting odds, they're pretty wide for Zoo at a minus 650 with Mendoza coming in at a plus 415. You could find some odds all over the place, a little closer, a little wider even, but for the most part, these are the odds that I settled on. I think Mendoza is a decent call from an underdog perspective, especially if they were on a sort of neutral ground, but they aren't. So you have to factor that in when you make this bet because hometown decisions do happen. So you have to keep that in mind. Still, that in terms of the money lines is really the only bet that I can see. Zoo's just not getting enough value there for me personally. In terms of the over-under, it is set at 9.5 with the over coming in at a plus 105 and the under coming in at a minus 135. Truthfully, this is just, again, like most bets, kind of what you see happening, obviously. I don't really think there's too much more value in one versus the other. I do think that if the fight is stopped, it's probably later, so I would pick the over anyway, and I'm going with the decision to begin with, so that seems to be the value for me, but in any event, those are your odds. And my prediction record as of this recording is 31 and 12 with 22 exact, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Love to hear your thoughts, predictions, your bet, so on and so forth. Of course, here you can check out these socials here, comment, share, subscribe, follow all that good stuff. And of course, be sure to visit jonboxing.com for schedule, results, betting odds, rankings, grades, all that good stuff. And as always, until next time.